Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, everybody, for uh, we had a little technical difficulty. It's hot out here. It is hot. And uh, our filming instrument was directly in the sun's path and uh, overheated. Just like Keith on a regular hot day. <laughs> yes. Overheated. Um, but thank you for joining us back here again. Um, we're going to just banter for a little, a little minute while uh, everybody jumps back on with us. Um, we were just starting to get our comments were coming through and everything was going to be amazing and poof, poof, it all goes down. Whew. It's hot though. I have to take my hat off. I don't know if those of you out there noticed, but we only allow bald people on this uh, They actually didn't this show. know that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Did I, I just outed you. Yeah. I, just, I totally outed you. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's uh, hot. You have any luck pulling that back up? Yeah, it just came back up. Okay. Aha! Yes, it is kind of hot today. Okay, here we are. No, it's, yours is struggling. Is it? Is that, is that me or is that? I don't know. You wouldn't think the signal would change. No, in fact, you'd think it'd get better. We're a little closer to the road. Oh yeah, no, this is your phone. No, we got people on mine. So I'm gonna just keep talking just, here. Let me shut it down and start it up again. Oh, here we go, let's see. Coming? All right. Oh yes, Casey, I can see that. Casey, Casey I got yours. Bree. Casey is on, yes, I can see that. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, start sending your comments. Keith's phone is being weird, but we are starting to get some in. Oh, I got Doug Wynn on. Uh, Savannah Rodriguez is on. Bald people are the best yes. people. He knows, I know her. Oh, so yeah, fast. see? Like, he says so fast, he's like, we are celebrating our 11th anniversary today, by the way. Cool. What? Get to go mm -hmm. fishing first, then anniversary. And you caught Wait, a fish. Yeah. And I caught a fish. You yeah. caught a fish on your anniversary. That That's right. Is... That's what we're having for dinner. Fish. <laughs> How romantic. I'm totally kidding. Though. I was going to say, you better, if you want to get to number 12, you better change that comment. If I freak out and there's a spider on me, I put my put my elbow in a bush right over there, oh, and it was covered in, in spider web, web, and so I may I may freak out at one moment, but um, just a just, uh, warning. Um, we were going to try and fish kind of halfway through this, but I don't know if that's going to work out, because we, we found a nice little shady overhang. We literally just skidded this boat right and this motor it. right up onto the bank here, and... I mean, it was perfect. This is something, this is the moment that this boat and motor is the, I, without it, you don't get to do this. You have no, you don't get to have a live video on the lake today without this boat. You don't. Because you're point. out in the lake and it's too hot. So go out and buy one. Just kidding. Just kidding. Subtle don't marketing. wait. Subtle marketing. Yeah. You know how I do. <laughs> this is my sales. That's why I'm not in. We probably oh, wouldn't man. be doing the show. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Who else we got? Um, Alumalite Marine and Custom Duck Boat Blinds. What's that up, is, guys? Uh, man, now I just forgot his name. Oh, Keith, you come don't on. believe it? Um, but hey, guys, um, that's all. Nick, I, I, Nick and Alumalite. Nick and Alumalite, that's right. How's it going, Nick? Good to have you with us. Dave Hemmingson is on. He says, hi, guys, from South Carolina at Water's Edge. Dave, you are the man. In fact, that's what Keith is sitting on right now is one of Dave Hemmingson's Coolers, right there. Right there. Yes. Good looking cooler. It's Keith, a good looking cooler. Keith needs one of those coolers. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to try and win one, like everybody else, on Catch and Release. Really? Yes. You think so? You think they'd let you? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, the last time, speaking of Catch and Release, I mean, so we were just doing a uh, podcast with our good buddy, uh, J. Paul Jackson. And you all better have gone out and, and uh, downloaded that because that, that came out a few days ago. Really great little podcast with uh, Keith and myself and, and Jay Paul. He had us on. Um, and uh, he, he seems to feel like the all you do on their show is heckle them. Yes. That's like no, all you I do. No, I heck, heckle <laughs> them. I heckle him. You, you, huck, you heckle Jay Paul. Yes. I, I, don't, I did I don't tell him he... I don't care what Jeremy <laughs> says about him. I don't think he appreciates that that much. I'll oh, be nicer then. All right, be nicer then. Little brother can't handle it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting words right there. Yeah. Spin-off, guys. <laughs> he, could, he could take me in a hurry, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're really good. And that, and that season, they, uh, they're actually giving away a very similar boat to this with um, Delta Waterfowl is giving away. We've partnered with Delta Waterfowl, which is a really, really great company. Um, all of you out there should should know them, have some uh, some experience with them, but they're really great in, in conservation and they, they do a lot for this sport. We really are lucky to be doing a uh, 
like a long-term deal with them and they are going to give away a boat package a, not this boat they're giving away a shallow water f4 and i believe a, a 40, 40 anniversary a 40 anniversary motor and a diamond city trailer and they're going to do that in december yes so if you do not follow and participate with delta waterfowl go and do that now because it's a sweet boat and the catch and release guys they actually had it at one of the largest banquets that they throw in memphis in memphis last night last night they yes. were cool. anticipating 650 people yeah. showing up to that banquet last night Can you believe that that's a big yeah. one it's it, they they were estimating between 400 and 500 thousand dollars in uh what a contribution and, and, yeah. and oh, raffle stuff yeah, just last night i'm like holy cow yeah so they are, it's, they it's are a big a event. it's a big chapter and a big event for them so yeah excellent um all right so before we were so rudely interrupted by the sun <laughs> um we were talking a little bit about the website yep. and how amazing you guys at red olive have been um in creating this new website which is you know for us is is the base like that's our that's home base that's where everything begins and we want it to be we wanted it to be certain things and mm -hmm. it was you and your team that really helped us shape that idea into what it is going to become sure and we are so proud of that and i want to hear i want to i want to talk about some of these things sure so you guys had some pretty uh, specific set of requirements. <laughs> really? And, uh, <laughs> to put it mildly. And you guys had all the, you know, the knowledge and the expertise, and you guys knew your demographic really well. Yes. And we knew how to design, and we know how to design. And so we had uh, a lot of means to kind of collaborate back and forth to create something that I think is beautiful. I mean, yes. on both ends, where yes. it really showcases, the, you know, the product and it showcases your your guys' company really well, and it looks really good. But it, again, it just looks really good. Yeah. And I like the colors on it. I think it's really sharp. And I think anybody that, you know, that is in this kind of lifestyle would appreciate the aesthetics of that website a lot. Agreed. I absolutely agree. Um, that was one of the first things that, that we saw um, in one of our first meetings was kind of that design aesthetic mm -hmm. that we kind of planned for. And we, we fell out of our chairs. We were so excited. <laughs> and um, so that was really fun. Tell us about you and I have talked about on a number of occasions that we want Mud Buddy and this website in particular to be a resource. Yes. So we didn't want it to only be a place where you could buy motors. We wanted to make it. We wanted to make the Mud Buddy's website a place that was kind of a resource center. So it would have tips on how to do things. In fact, last week in the Facebook Live you guys did, we went over some of the blog posts on there. You know what to look for in a mud motor, for example. Yeah. Or different hunting tips. Uh, we want. The, you know, Mud Buddy's website to be a place where information is freely found and shared and is valuable. Yes. You know, and we want it to be valuable to the people that, you know, like me are, are more towards kind of the their newer path down this road, but also valuable to those people that have been doing this for generations. We want it to be a good space for everybody there. Yes, absolutely. And that, that I love is what we're doing. So what we are currently populating right now is, is that um, it's the new section is what it's called. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if you go... Um, <laughs> Are you, you know, drawing? in the website, <laughs> I've been looking at it so many. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, you've normally I have my website in front of me. And I, I know I've been watching it for so long. Um, but up in the uh, the top section, I'm trying to think of what it's called. I believe it's the. I don't know. Oh crap! There it's um, goes uh, the motors and then the. <laughs> it's not in front of me. My word! It is so hot out here. I had to take my hat off. Anyway, at the top menu. There is a section there that you'll click and then you'll see the new section right in there. It's and also down at the bottom of the footer as well. Also in the footer. So definitely go and check those out because we've got lots of uh, posts already built and more coming. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a lot more. Yes. So in fact, one of the ones, and we kind of mentioned it last week also, was the duck hunting pack list. Yes. And so, you know, I come from a culture where, you know, I do a lot more shooting, not necessarily hunting, but just kind of target practice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I had created my own checklist of things that I didn't want to forget. Right. Because there's <laughs> nothing more frustrating than going to the range or going out somewhere to shoot and then completely forgetting the ammunition for one of your <laughs> rifles. Or the gun. Yeah, or the gun. <laughs> no, I had the gun. Oh, you had the but gun. But it was a really nice paperweight at that point. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's so, I just like to carry around. So yeah, the pack list is awesome. And so it includes everything, you know, from kind of beginner things that you like, you know, all the way down to every little thing that you need to bring with you to have a successful, well, to have a fun time hunting. Yes, and hopefully to take some of the stress out of it. Yes. The night before, mm -hmm. and it should be the night before, not me all the time. I mean, I'm a, it's, you know, four in the morning and I'm running back and forth Sorry. trying to load everything up. Yes, no. But for those of you who actually do plan ahead, it's it's a nice resource. Take some awesome. of the stress out of that. Four o'clock in the morning, most of our guys are already 
on the road or at the place to be. So while you're running around, they've already got you beat to the hole, and they're shooting in your. That is so. that is absolutely true. No, but, that's but a there good are idea. there are lines I will not cross, Keith. With that, with that check. Four in the morning is one of those lines. <laughs> one I, of those I, lines. I, agree, I agree with you. It's it's really really tough to get up and. Uh, go flying across the river, the lake, or whatever at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I want to hear from all of you out there, what is the lamest thing you ever forgot on a hunt? That one important thing that you didn't bring. I want to hear those, uh, and we'll give away some, we'll give away some, some, stuff, some stuff for that. I want to say probably one of the lamest things is my snacks. Oh, oh that's I had my gun, I, I had my shells, I had, I had everything I needed, and when I lifted up my bucket seat, no snacks, oh, but they man. were on the counter when I got they home. They were on the counter. You had a good <laughs> that time. That was probably we were... probably open. Y yes, probably, and the know, kids, uh, the it. wife and the kids had been gone, <laughs> had gone through them. Yeah. So yeah, that was probably the lamest thing. And you know, when you're sitting out there hunting, and if it's a slow day, three, oh, four, five, something. or six hours. Oh yeah. All that stuff that I had in that Ziploc baggie would have been really would have been, good. Would have just made that yeah, hunt a little bit better. Put that at the better. top of the list. Oh, <laughs> really. Okay, so I've got yes. a couple. Um, Nick Emerson, uh, his buddy heater. That, uh, that's a necessity in the ooh, cold man. winter. Yeah, you don't have that. That's kind of hard to think about right now. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I don't really care that you forgot your heater. But <laughs> no, on those cold days, man, that that that's a bummer. Um, Stephen Gray, no lie, once forgot my gun. <laughs> Left it at the front door. Yeah. yeah. No, honestly. That's when you just take turns shooting with your buddy. <laughs> yes. I'll shoot you. Shoot. <laughs> it's my no, gun. I, that counts for me. I, yeah, exactly. I honestly <laughs> believe people have have done that. That people do it a lot. Oh. Um, John, John Chance, I've forgotten my bolt, my shotgun, my shells. Never forgot the TP though. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. Priority. Is that on the list? We got to make sure that that's be. on the list. Right, I'm that go is double check for the snacks and the toilet paper. The snacks the and the toilet paper, because I know we've got to roll in here. Oh, yeah. We, we, do, we do not forget it. I hope we're not going to be gone that long. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> it's not when you're gone that long. It's if you have stomach issues. Yeah, it's, it's immediate. It's immediate. It's, it's like, more about... The sad thing is, is where we hunt most of the time here in Utah, and a lot of people, you're in the marsh. Yeah. So there's no land to... So you're <laughs> hanging off the back. <laughs> is that a future accessory? Yeah, without uh, without your friends the whooping up their cameras <laughs> and everything the else. The rail toilet. There we go. Boom. Hey. We got copyright on the million dollar right here. Yeah, Bill, if you are watching, <laughs> I need the T-Rail to toilet made. T-Rail toilet seat. Well, can that. I can start off with a cup holder design, right? Yeah, yes. something. Is yes. Right. I've probably just, taken this idea a little too Just far. like that, only large. <laughs> Larger. <laughs> oh, man. That's intense. But we've all the been... salty log. Is that what we're... Yeah, the salty log, <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> Uh, everything, yeah, it's... Uh, 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 yeah, okay, it's, here's some other good ones. These are getting hilarious, you guys. Doug Wynn, I forgot a hunting buddy. He was two hours away, but we didn't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't miss him. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Doug, Doug, that is a good, good that story. Does, that deserves a... You just left, you just drove off and That deserves and a hat him. or a shirt. No, Doug, 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 Doug oh, has uh, plenty. Doug, oh, Doug's one of yeah, our Doug pro Wynn. staffers, he's a, he's a pro he? staffer for us. Excel? Although he doesn't have any, I don't know how much Mud Buddy stuff. I, Doug, I'll, I'll send you the next the next shipment of stuff I need to get. I'll make sure I put some Mud Buddy stuff in there for you. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> I forgot his buddy. Did the guy ever call you and be like, um, are you... <laughs> Are we going or what? Oh, I have That's... 47 missed calls. <laughs> yeah. Nuts. <laughs> Must be an emergency. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, let's see. Let's see. Lost a boat plug under the floor. No spare. Whittled a stick to Ooh. go out for the day. That is that is smart. That's I do not want to say that I have ever forgotten the plugs in my boat, but I have. I, you know what? If you say you I, haven't, I'm almost <laughs> going to call you a liar because I've done it numerous times. Numerous times. You would think it'd be one of those things that the first time you do it, you will never forget it again. But man. Yeah. Sometimes you're just so excited and just you're just so rushing excited. and it's like, why is there water in a boat? Well, for, for me, the last time that happened, I was there were kind of a lot of people. And so it became your turn. And so you hurry and get your boat ready and try and slip into the onto the dock before anybody else does because there are people waiting in line and then and you're like oh no plugs. crap no yes. plugs um but i do love i love the idea of whittling a stick that's really smart we that's, MacGyver, that's, right that's macgyver he macgyvered that boat. impressive in we fact yeah that's a, uh, years ago with my brother and his outboard when we were at the lake skiing we got to the lake no plug 
So we were searching around and we found a spark plug and we had some black tape. Boom! <laughs> jammed in the hole and we were skiing, baby. We That's were great. not going to be Perfect. denied. Yes. Oh, yeah. But then you feel good when you do little fixes like that. Yeah. Oh, you're like, I am not a as man. Not as good as if you I... were to have brought it from the beginning. <laughs> yes. But, I mean, heaven forbid you actually bring everything you need, but, you know, obviously we're not going to do that. Um, Rob Rasmus forgot my dog and jumped in the boat and took off. I had to go back to the truck and get him. You left the dog in the car. That's a good and one. Then... <laughs> I bet he was just being yeah. a good boy, just sitting there wagging. He's just like, huh. Oh, I know. Uh, was pretty tearing sure everything I was up. Tearing everything, tearing everything, everything up. Yeah. No, that is, dogs that I know would absolutely lose their mind. Well, the owner of Mud Buddy has a, had a wonderful dog named Nigel. Mm -hmm. And they were up at uh, a certain area hunting. And they decided to take the other gentleman's dog, Clint's. <laughs> so they left Clint's oh, dog at home. Man. So when they got back, his dog had proceeded to destroy his wallet that was on the counter. Oh, he no. had bread. He's he could tell us like an angry <laughs> two year old had oh. gone off in the house. He's like, so from then on, when he left the dog home, the dog went in the kennel oh, yeah. to prevent uh -huh. any. Yeah, it was just funny oh, to hear because they're like they come home and that. The place is just a disaster. Just a disaster. <laughs> Leave me home, huh? <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, I'll show <laughs> you. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Had to go back to the truck and get yeah. it. That's funny. Um, John Sands, doing long enough, and you'll, be, you'll forget pretty much anything at some point. I yeah. absolutely oh, yeah. agree. I agree. Um, James McDowell forgot my coat in the middle of winter in Michigan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we I... still went. <laughs> That's a real man. <laughs> That is dedication right there. If um, you had your buddy heater, you'd be okay. You yeah, right by the seriously. Heater. All right, James, that is... Uh, James, James, James is going to get us That is a good one. That is hunting without a coat in Michigan. Into our... Uh, it's a good one. <laughs> the assassin's log. The assassin log. <laughs> That's right. The first person into the assassin okay, log. Okay, who did, who did I say? James I, something. Jan yeah, James. James McDowell, is that what yes, it was? Yes, James McDowell. James McDowell. Um, James, I am gonna for that. I'm gonna send you um, a shirt. I've got <laughs> maybe a coat. Cover your bag. I don't. If I have coats, <laughs> I would do that. Um, but I'm gonna do um, one of the white one of the white shirts if that's okay with you. So send me a private message. The other thing that you can do, I've been sending save a, send a private mess, message. But what you can do is go to the website. And there's a chat box in the bottom right hand corner. You can what go did you on just there. Say? Yes, you can go in there and just tell whoever picks up that you won, you won a shirt, and leave me your address and your shirt size. You, get, you have to read the next one. All right. Oh, I just poked myself in the <laughs> eye, okay? <laughs> just another thing to go along with Chrysler Keith. Um, so yeah, you have to read the one. Do you need me to read it, old man? Yeah, it's Nicholas Amerson. You've got um, to read this Nick. one. All right. This one's a good one. <laughs> Nick. Nick, my friend, that you, is a good you, one. You win the top when, prize or, of the day. Or, he says, or when you're hungover and forget to bring the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick. That, that's Nick, a, that yeah, a is short trip. Maybe we need to put the one. boat on truck, <laughs> boat, <laughs> <Number> one, toilet <laughs> no, paper. Snacks, toilet paper, boat, dog, yeah. plug. <laughs> We're gonna so have to rearrange the list a little Nick, bit. So did you have your gun or anything? Did you just like stand on shore? Did you wait out a little bit? Yeah, did you just like, pass you to yeah. do <laughs> just some sky busting and yeah. just uh, you know call it good for the day? Yeah, that's that's Nick, hilarious. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh, Doug Wynn, It was before cell phones, but you guys probably don't remember those times when he left his buddy. Yes, I um, remember the time without a cell phone. I I mean barely. <laughs> that's, I'm barely, I'm so young. I, <laughs> I go back to a pager and before, back when you used to get beep, 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 and you're like, oh, I'm important. Run to the telephone the booth. Telephone booth. <laughs> booth. And look the for a chain, the pay phone, and look for some change. <laughs> that's funny. Remember those days well. Good. Um, those are good ones. Keep those coming, you guys. Those are really funny. Um, I really, I really like that. Um, in the meantime, though, Keith, let's talk real briefly or not briefly, um, and get some get some comments going about um, transitioning. It's transition time, Keith. It is, definitely. Our motors, we have used ours for months now in the warm weather. Yes. What are we gonna do? We're gonna look at uh, changing the oil and the filter. Smart plugs will probably be okay, but we're going to check belt tension. We wanna be in that 12 to 17 pound range. Uh, we wanna grease the drive. We wanna grease all of our pivot points. We just wanna make sure that the old salty as ready to rock and roll when the weather gets below when our 80? <laughs> oh, Maybe 70. 
<laughs> Sounds nice right now. Oh, yeah, it no, does. If huh? only. Um, yes. Our uh, our youth hunt starts us off. Yes. In just a couple of that's three, what, three weeks. Third now? Saturday of September. Of September. Will be the youth hunt. We'll probably that's... need to having your boat sunblock. Yes. Mosquito spray. <laughs> <laughs> would Absolutely. be some of the essentials. Uh, don't forget those. But yeah, definitely it's time to start thinking hunting. Get it taken care of now before what about, Friday night. Yes. So definitely oil change. Now is a really good time to, to get into that. What about um, some fuel stabilizers or some some, some coolants, it, things like that. Thing, something to keep, keep it uh, ready for cold weather. Cold weather, definitely want fuel stabilizers uh -huh. if you can't run ethanol-free gas. If you can run ethanol-free gas, stabilizer's not as important, but I would still run it. Um, make sure you're not, if you've got an 11-gallon tank and you're only making short runs, don't fill it full. Keep the octane up high. Yeah. Add a little bit every time instead of just fill it up, run the 11 gallons for the season, because you're losing octane in the fuel, yes. especially if you're running performance tip. motors. Yes. Keep the octane high, and it doesn't fresh, hurt yep. to check the fuel once or twice. I mean, we've got 11 gallon tank, but we've decided that we're only gonna keep two about to four gallons, four gallons in it because about what we, do. we don't we don't run that far here. I mean, our farthest run last year was probably two miles maybe, two but, miles yeah. out, two miles back. We didn't use yeah. any fuel, nope. so. That's one of those things to think about. And you know, the more fuel you have, the more weight you have. Yes. And a big thing our duck hunter friends and guys battle is weight to rate to a horsepower ratio. Yeah. If you don't have horsepower, you're not gonna push the weight. And if you've got too much weight, it doesn't matter how much horsepower you have. So there's a, there's a fine line and 11 gallons of fuel when you make a one mile run is 80 pounds of weight of that, weight you, that don't you don't need. need. Yeah, That's point. your dog. Yeah. Unless you're leaving your dog at home and chasing unless, your own Unless it's bird. still in the car. You yeah. Know, I guess, uh, if that's what. If that's what. Then you got to go back so you're down to probably about 78 pounds of fuel because you used a little gas. But, yep. you know, just, just certain things like that. Just if you take care of it today, it will take care of you tomorrow. Yes. And if you procrastinate, there's all kinds of things. And guys, most of you, um, if you're handy and all that stuff, you can do oil filter plugs grease the drive, the pivot point, and check the tension in an hour. Yeah. You've got an hour and you've got 20 to 30 bucks depending on what kind of oil you use. Some guys like synthetic, some say conventional. Doesn't matter what, just use a good oil um, in your motor and, and change it every 25 hours. Yeah. So. And now's a good time too. Now's a good reminder. Now's a good I mean, reminder. Why, why not do it now? Especially the guys in the Midwest and some of the su the southern I think are starting early teal and goose this weekend. This so, weekend. you know, it's we good. still have about a month before we go. Oh, was it five? Five weeks. Five weeks. I think five weeks You're before go we go. Right? Yeah, fifth fifth of October. Yeah, fifth, yeah. fifth of October, we can go out and we'll start out. chasing them. I know. I've. I mean, hopefully we'll get out closer to that, but it will probably be a week or so after. After that opening day before we as a sh as a show you and I before yeah, I'm, we I'm not all that out. excited about going on opening day in Utah and I'm sure it's in a lot of areas on public land it's like world war whatever <laughs> man it is there is just steel flying everywhere yeah. and this is where you guys need to teach people especially if you're taking out new people teach them etiquette yes. how far to set up from people how to be more courteous there's all those things that make it a better hunt for you and for the people that you're around because rolling up on somebody at 50, 60 yards and setting up a spread or using their decoys as a spread and not talking to them, yeah, it's, like, hey, it's not good. Yeah, You tend to get uh, BBs uh -huh. thrown you your way. A little metal, a <laughs> little metal ring. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, so, I got you. Yeah. And it's just, it's just common sense. Just be polite. That's all it is. You don't have to be overly neighbor, but be polite, mm -hmm. you know? So. Sid is watching. Fast Duck Motors. Which is interesting that he hasn't called yet. Yeah, usually he likes he calls. to just call in the middle of the show. Yeah, <laughs> Sid, don't so, call. Sid, thank you. I appreciate that. Although he did write in, yo, 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 what diggity dogs. What diggity dogs. <laughs> hey, Which I appreciate. I, I know Sid. I said it yes. multiple times. His wife makes amazing banana bread. Yep. Mm, amazing banana bread. I mean, With a lot of butter. 
it's so thanks really to good. Lori. That is uh, yes. That is all speculative at this point. No, I've I've I had. I mean, it. I have I have it's, zero proof. I show, it showed up to my house this past year mm -hmm. because I complained a lot. <laughs> Brandon Smith says, "Hey, did all of that today? All of that uh, belt tension? All of that? Good, good way job, to go, Brandon. Brandon. That's very smart. Um, what grease are you guys putting in for your drive shaft? Uh, good question. I know. I don't know if it's on the official store yet, but Mud Buddy has the grease that we put on our drives is going to be available soon. Sometime. As soon as Jeffrey can finish the, he made some cool labels, but it's a uh, aqua, let's see, we get it from Aqua Marine, comes out of Kentucky. Yeah. It's a, the grease that we put in all of our drives. It's now going to be available in the cartridge. Yeah, a little too. Um, if little you don't low. have it and you don't want to buy it from us, whatever. Just use a good high temp red wheel bearing grease. Mm -hmm. That'll that usually works pretty good. But if you want the stuff that comes in your drive, it will be available on the Excel store page. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully in a week or so. Yeah. But you know, don't listen to me. And if you don't <laughs> I say get things it, like that and that, that never just, so I try uh, go not to, to but, the uh, chat. Keep an eye. Let yeah, Enrique eye. know, and he will harass. Go Jeffrey. to the chat and ask for Keith and say you won't talk to anybody you but Keith. You can't get Keith on the chat right now. <laughs> Keith's kind of throwing up a mild Listen, protest. Uh -oh. so eventually is what's going to have to i got to put something on my neck. My neck is burning. There's a sunblock right there. I know. I should put that on. There's um, some spray sunblock in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should, I should get to that. <laughs> yeah, great. Thanks. That was really <laughs> such great Super advice. Helpful. I yeah. really, really, really love it. sunblock, Joe. Um, no, someday we're going to have a therapy session about this chat situation key that's I, just you know i, I it's, it's, i'm worried about you in here like in in here no Keith. i'll be okay i just <laughs> there's already so I'll much on my okay. plate with the with the phones the emails we get a ton of messages on um facebook we get them on that's facebook messenger so it's it's already busy and now they're throwing a chat room so there's a, we've got a couple people watching it now so i'm okay with it and I will well, let me drop be clear, my fences first of all, and my guard <laughs> against the chat. There is no room. It's not a chat room. This isn't the 90s with chat rooms, Keith. It's just a little ch chat box. And if you haven't been on it, it is very possible that if you do go on it and be nice to whoever talks to you, you could end up with a free hat. I know Ricky's given a couple of oh, hats yeah. away. Ricky loves to give stuff away. Um, so, you know, if you haven't checked out the chat, you definitely should. It's it's easy easy to use. Super easy to use. It's really clever. Bottom and right corner. Bottom right, right corner. Can you make Absolutely. it a little bit more difficult to find in my situation? Because <laughs> when, when we talked about it last week, I'm like, I'm trying to hide that stupid. Well, we could put it as an Easter egg. You yeah, have to they, click on this page, scroll down, scroll back up, and then it appears. And what do you get if you find it? Help. <laughs> not three wishes? <laughs> not three not wishes. Three. You get a little bit of help if you find it. Yeah. So I will um, get past the mental block. Yeah. Okay, good. Eventually. You know, I always worry about you. <laughs> a lot of people worry. So <laughs> Keith is, uh, appreciates everybody worrying about <laughs> Very good. Very, very good. Um, okay. Let's see. Ordered my hoodie last week. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's Frank King. Good. I'm glad you got that hoodie. I hope you're not Those are done. Right so um, we, we had 10 of those available on that uh, on the website, Secret Treasure, and they are all gone. That's awesome. Yeah, it that was, was fun awesome. to find. So we may uh, we may have to try something like that maybe in a little bit, but uh, stay tuned because we're going to throw up some other cool stuff, including I've got a box of decoys that I'm going to give away. Where did you, where'd you get those? Um, Dakota is going to send me a box of those. Oh, cool. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the one that's already in my office? Yes. Not that one. Good. These are and different. You know exactly where I was going. I know. I see the panic Don't on your you face. Dare. You? No worries. No, no. This is this is their own. Um, so we're gonna have that. We're gonna end up giving away a propeller before this big blade. Uh -huh. well, actually, probably what blade of your choice. Blade of your choice, probably um, before the end of September. So you can have it for the. Hunt. So you can have it for the hunt. Um, and we've got some others, other plants. You know who's really getting into it though is that is gonna create some crazy stuff. Is Bill. Our general manager has got some crazy cool ideas of things that he wants to do for this little uh, You always have to worry hunt. and watch Bill. <laughs> you just never know what's going on. He's so mild-mannered, but he comes up with some things like, wow, I never would have thought you to come up with that. <laughs> Frank, wild card. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Frank King wants to talk about beard goals. Beard goals for this, uh, for this season. 
Keith, what's your goal? My goal. Everybody's goal really is, is to have huge. one. This is Jonathan really the goal. I think we're all just, aware that that's standard. the goal. The gold standard. I just the itch. It gets to a certain point, and it's getting there now. I got to trim it back. I just can't get past a certain stage without. I gotta, it's got to go. Just the need. And, and, yeah. You know, and I and the bottom of this, I'm like, that would be <laughs> sweet, but I just took a while. Maybe I could go to get some therapy about over the. Coming uh-huh. the itch in the the live chat, the, yeah, just like ah. yeah, we'll get it. Um, I yeah, I know. I I generally don't go very long with mine. No. I I liked about where my, my length was last year. I like that. That's kind of what I, I'm about three weeks in. It's so. it's nice last to have year. Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You know, yeah, about that long. It wasn't. I always keep the. the, the I, I can't short. stand it in my in my mouth. That's mm-hmm. what I always. Yeah, that's why I was. Bugging me sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So that's I. So I always kind of trim that up a little bit. But no, I'm. I, I started a little earlier last year. I didn't start till. Probably October or so. So you know, I'm, it, I'm gonna it jump. Helps I'm hide, jumping hide your face when you're out there hunting. It so when you jump really up, does. they don't see this big old white gold. You've got <laughs> a little bit of coverage. Especially that is me, who is the whitest yeah. of them all. Well, then you have the, that. Do you face paint or don't you? There's guys who do it, guys who don't do it. So it's that's one of those, you know, uh, things. It's a good debate. Face paint or no face paint? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the no, beard. Good, yeah, that would thing. be a good poll. It beard, would be a good poll. The beard helps hide a lot of your face. Yes. And my double or chins. Yes. <laughs> it's a good reason. Might as well. Yes. I appreciate that for sure. Um, Jeff Mullenix is on Team Jeff. Is, Team Jeff. Is, is here. We are on. Um, it's been weeks since I've been on working and building boat blinds as fast as we can. Jeff, you, I know it's the busy season, man. I hear you. But it is glad to have It is good to see you. Good to have you with us again. Get back to work. Yeah, now get back to work. <laughs> Keep building. Josh Hendricks is on. What's good? Uh, not much, Josh. Good to see you, buddy. Corey Belcafor is on. He says, you got any packages on a dual long tail setup? A what? You ever, you ever seen anything like that? A dual a long dual tail inch? setup. Uh, I don't even know how that would work. At one time, I know this is going to shock you, <laughs> Mud Buddy had a long tail with two 23 horses in line with each other. Really? Uh, from what I understand, it was uh, kind of a monster to run. I can imagine. That's, that was where they didn't where build my too thoughts. many of them. It was just kind of a concept yeah. thing. I mean, running one of them is. Yeah, I don't a know. A, a, dual, rig, a yeah. dual rig long tail setup. Good luck. <laughs> okay. One's, one is more than I want to run. <laughs> so Corey, if you are dead set on that, you're going to have to do some uh, some convincing. You'll have to call in. Call Clint. Call the chat line. Go into the chat line. Demand uh, Keith and then talk to him about it. Call the shop 801 352 8011. Ask for Clint Hovey. Yes. He's our sales guy. He was around when they built him. When that they thing. built him, yeah, he'd know. Yes, and he, he also have a little story about forgetting something, but it wasn't that big of a deal because we shoot at a club. We get out there, we get the spread all set up, got the blind up. I grab my gun, I start loading it up, and he's like, Where's my gun? <laughs> oh, so it was a four-minute run back to yeah, the boathouse. Uh, Do you have any uh, pictures or videos or anything of that one? No. Because that would be cool to yeah. check out. Oh, I have a really good story. We were talking about this last <laughs> week. We were out hunting. It was a youth hunt like four years ago. Clint was cool enough to take myself and my daughter, Morgan, out. It was our first hunting experience. So we're all set up in the cattails. We talked to her about safety. There's three of us. One of us... On each side of her, Clint and I, and she was in the middle, told her only swing so far, this and that. Things are going pretty good, and this bird comes by, she jumps up and she swings. Clint got spooked. <laughs> we were in a really narrow boat, and Clint was a little bit too close to the edge of the boat, and Clint disappeared underwater. <laughs> oh, jeez. Lost his best hunting hat. But I was proud of him because knowing Clint the way I do, I thought he was going to come out of the water and just go ballistic. <laughs> and he did it. And, and it was nice. Pretty it was, impressive. It, it, Very it, calm. Was, it was a 65 degree day, yeah. you know, in September because it wasn't cold yet. Mm-hmm. And so he didn't really bother him too much. It's kind, of, it kind of refreshing other than it's Jordan River water that yeah. we're hunting. It, so he was a little nervous he's going to get sick because yeah, he swallowed some water. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of like jarred, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, those there. are always cool, fun stories. But, awesome. yeah, he was pretty it's mellow a good sport. about it. Yeah, took his waders off, dumped them out, and got them back <laughs> on. He was good. <laughs> dumped them out. Um, Josh Hendricks says, where can I locate one of those Mud Buddy shirts? Talking about that shirt right there. Boom. Those are on the XL Boats online store is where you can find those in the Mud Buddy section. You know they're, what? They're Just right be in a cool dude and give him one today. 
All right. Write his name down in the salty log. All right, I'm gonna write it down. Whatever it is. <laughs> the not wow. salty log. The uh, the, the assassin <laughs> log, Keith. Assassin, assassin log. log. Is that a hit list? Yeah, it's my hit list. It's pretty cool. Yes. Um, who was it, Josh Hendricks? Uh, who I yes. said? All right, Josh. Send me a message on the uh, live chat. Um, send me your um, your address and your shirt size. Josh Hendricks. And I'm gonna get one of those out to you. Cause they're a nice, it's a nice little shirt. There it is. A little mud buddy shirt. They're lightweight, so they're really nice during the summer when it's nice. Like right now? <laughs> like right now. Even when it's black. <laughs> Although even that black, it's I'm nice sure and thin it's and it's helping a little bit. Not much, but a little bit, so yes. Luckily nobody can read, I write it in code, my handwriting is so bad. <laughs> Um, excellent. Okay. So if Jeff passes away tonight or tomorrow, you're probably not going to get it because we're not going to be able to Nobody will be able to decipher what it is. What he it's wrote. Gone. <laughs> Ugh. Enrique thinks he's funny. Important. I don't know why he thinks that. Um, all right. We're going to wrap it up there, though. Um, the phone has come back into the sunlight, so it could die at any moment. Um, but, John, I, I want to say thanks for yeah, coming with thanks us. thanks for having me out here, Helping guys. us out and for all of the hard work you have done. Um, on our website and all the things. Yeah, it's, it's been a great partnership. Yeah, it's good. Really fun. I'm glad. Um, so that's going to be excellent. Next week, um, I believe we will be back at the shop, um, as far as I know. But I will keep you up to date on that. So join us next week, next next Wednesday. This is always the hardest time. I know it's. For you some don't reason, say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. You have to say goodbye. And my words get all twisted. I'm all little, excited to be done. We're not crying. It's just sweat. <laughs> yeah, it's just sweat. It's not crying. It ain't crying. It's, it's not tears. It's just not sweat. tears of sadness. We need to get back out there and yes, I gotta go and in the water. get me some fish. So, um, join us next week, next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Until then, take care of everybody right here in the shallow water. Shut up, Keith. <laughs>